Hello friends welcome back this is Omit from Magnet and today we are going to create this awesome desert landscape with a nice ruined temples. So first take a look what we are going to create today. So before we start, if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to check my videos and if you find those videos useful, please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on. And here I like to shout out for all those people who has already joined me as a member. So if you really want to support me, you can also join me as a member. So let's get started. Okay, so when we open Unreal Engine, first we go to the file and create a new level for our scene. And I am creating this empty level here, so just click and just click on this create button here. And then we're going to make a lighting setup. So for this, we go to this window and then we go to this environment light mixer. And then we just click on this create skylight, create the atmospheric light, create the sky atmosphere, create barometric cloud and this height fog. And then we just go down here and click on this volumetric fog. Just check this box here and then we close this. And then we go to this skylight here and turn on this real time capture. So we have built our lighting setup here. Now we're going to save this project. So in order to save, just go to the file and just save all here. And we name this as tutorial and just save it here. Okay. And then make this map to your default map. Just go to this edit, go to this project settings, then go to this maps and modes and change this edit startup map to your current level in this case which is tutorial so we just type and just select this one and also the gameplay mode you choose this map as well so you just click here and just type and just save this so in order to whenever we restart this engine or we start unreal engine you will find this default map here and it's only works for this project only and now instead of using this default cloud we're going to use some volumetric clouds here so for this go to this edit go to the plugins and we search for volumetrics and you will find this volumetrics plugins here just enable this one and we will prompt to restart this engine so just restart your engine here okay after restart the engine we're going to go to the settings switch here and we also turn on the show engine content and the show plugin content just tick those on and after that we go to here that is the content drawer and we go to this engine folder here and then we go to this plugins folder here just double click and then we go down and you will find this volumetric content folder just double click here then we go to this content folder and then go to the sky and you go to this materials and here we will find so many materials here but i find that this number two material is work nicely so first you go to this volumetric cloud then we go down here and you will find this material just select this number two material here and just click on this arrow switch here and it will may take 
to a little time to appears but you will see this kind of nice cloud here okay and then we going to change some settings to the cloud as well so we first we go to this after selecting this volumetric cloud then go to this details panel and here we will find this some settings name this layer bottom altitude layer height something like this so if we change these settings in you will find that our cloud changing here okay just like this and maybe we're going to make some cloud which is only at the horizon because in the desert there is not so much cloud here and also we go to this layer height we're going to change this as well so make it very small clouds there okay and also we make it little small here okay something like this so we'll get a nice subtle cloud at the horizon and now we're going to make the landscape here so for this we go to the select mode button here go to this landscape and then make sure that you enable this enable edit layers then we go down and we change the section size 127 into 127 here and this also to 2 into 2 okay and then we just click on this create button here okay and then we go to this edit layers we double click here to rename it and we name this as the dune layer so this is our dune and now we're going to go to the sculpt mode and we use a brush for making the dunes so it's a blueprint so we go to this blueprint here and then we go to this blueprint brush and you will see there is none uh, but I have some brushes here, but maybe you not have the brushes here because you have to enable the land mask plugin So for this we go to this edit option here go to the plugins and we will type here the land mask and When you find this land mask plugin here, which is the beta version, but don't worry it works nice Just enable this one then you have to restart the engine here Just restart your engine and when you restart the engine you will come here then we go to this tool settings that is the blueprint brush we go to this drop down list and we select this custom brush material only just click on here and we click on here and you will get this kind of bump here so if we right click here and then we press e to move upward here you will see this kind of landscape here okay so now it's not look exactly the desert so we're going to change some settings here as well so here you will find this landscape custom brush material only because we use this brush so you select this brush here then we go to its details panel and you will find this material that is the brush material we're going to change this brush material so first we go to this option that is this one that is the m simple brush just click on this drop down list and you will find these options here and if you not find these options here maybe you probably turn on this engine content and the plugin content earlier in order to use those volumetric clouds so you probably see all those brushes here because those are also from this engine content so now we're going to search for some noise brush so we go to the search option here and type noise and we will find several noise brushes here but we're going to use another one so let's see which one so we're going to use this one that is the gen noise one just click on here and you will see this flat surface here so now we're going to change some settings from here as well so we go here first we change this tiling so default setting is 0.25 and we change this to 10 okay and you will see little bit of bumpiness here then we go to this elevation scale and we also change this to maybe 6000 and now you will find this kind of landscape here so if we go a little higher here just like this you will see this kind of landscape here it look nice but it's not look the desert like so for this we go to this octaves here so default value is 7 we change this to 1 just like this and now you will get this nice bumpy landscape here but you will see that it's not look like the exact landscape of the desert 
so we're going to change some settings as well so first you go to change this brush blueprint property but in order to changing the blueprint property because it's a engine content so it will change the entire unreal engine settings so in order to change the settings but without hampering the unreal engine we're going to duplicate this material first so in order to find this material into these folders we go to this folder uh, icon here just click on here so you will find this actual material here so now we are going to copy this material so in order to copy this material go here and we are going to copy this material to our content folder or content directory here so just click and drag to this content folder here and here we find these options so just select this copy here because if you move here you will lose this material forever from your engine so just copy here okay and then we go to our content then go down and here is this material here so just double click here and we maximize this and we go to make some changes here so here you will find this one so if you go to this functions the value is set to 3 and if you go here you will find that we're going to use this Voronoi Voronoi brush settings so the value is 3 so 3 means the gradient and if you change this to 5 it will change this to Voronoi so we're going to change this value to 5 and that's it and just save this by clicking on this apply button here and it will take little time to apply and then we minimize this one and now we're going to rename this so we just right click here and rename and then we just name this as desert one okay just like this and now we're going to assign this material to here so just click on here and just click on this arrow button here okay so now you'll see that it look something like desert here so now we're going to change the material as well so in order to use some sand material i'm going to use some mega scan material so just right click here and go to this quick cell content so i have already downloaded a material so i go to this local and then i go down here and here is the material so it's name the bright desert sand so i'm also gave the asset link in the description so you'll also get this material there as well and I use the medium quality but you can also change it to highest quality and just click on this add button to add this into your project folder and I just close it from here so after you add any quicksell content you will find a folder named the mega scans so just double click here and if you add any material you will find this material into the surfaces folder so just double click here and here is the material so if you click on this material instance uh, filter by the way if you don't know how to add the filters go to this three line button here and here is all the filters name just click if you click on this material you will see this material filter here or if you see uh, select the static mesh you will find this static mesh filter here so we use the material instance so if you go here so if you go to this materials you will find this material instance filter here so just select this one and you will find this material instance filter here so here is this material so I select this one select this uh, landscape here and we go down that is the material landscape we just click on this arrow button here and here you will find this nice landscape material by the way I have made some changes to this material so I will show you that what change I made here to make this kind of look because your might be not look something like this so just double click here to open this material here and first we change the tiling so maybe in your case the tiling if I reset this value or maybe if I change this to one by one so maybe in this case it looks something like this so you have to change this to point 0.1 so change this to point 0.1 here and point 0.1 here as well so make a nice uh, tiling here and then also I go down here we go to this metallic button and we decrease this metallicness here and also we go to this specular we have to decrease this specular because 
uh, we don't want our scent to be very reflective so we decrease this specularity to something like this or maybe 0.1 will be very nice okay and also increase this roughness values okay so it all depends on either how much rough uh, you want so maybe we change this to 4 for now okay something like this and everything look nice here so we save this okay and now you will find this kind of nice landscape here and now if you want to put any third person character to visualize the size reference so for this we go to this add button here and then we go to this add feature or content pack just click on here and you will find this third person template just click on this add to project so i have already added this so i just cancel it from here and when you add this you will find this folder that is called this third person and if you go to this blueprint you will find this game mode and the character here okay but now if you just click on this play button here you will see that the game mode is active but we not seeing our character here so we cancel this game mode session then we go to this world setting first we change the game override game mode override so we just select our game mode here that is the third person game mode and you just click on this arrow button here and now you also change this third person character here that is the default pawn class so we select this character here and we click on this arrow button here okay just like this and now if you click on this play button here you will get our third person character here and now you can move everywhere by using the WASD key and with the mouse you can move around here okay so now but if you want to change this default character to a custom character in my actual video i use some soldier but those soldiers are paid content so if you want a free content from the epic game content so for this first we go to the epic game marketplace and then we go to the marketplace then we go to the free and epic game content and if we go to the page number six you will get so many paragon characters here so maybe if we going to use this one maybe this one so just select this one which is free and just click on here and then just click on this add to project and here is our project and just click on this add to project here so it will take little time to download because you will see that the size is 1.8 gigabyte so it will take little time so after download the character and you will find this character here so if you go to these characters then go to the heroes then go to this Valicia and you will find this character here so now we are going to change uh, the third person character with this custom character here so first we go to our third person character here so under this third person folder go to the blueprint and here is the BP third person character blueprint. So we just double click here. And now here we going to change this character with this Bellica character. So first we go to this drop down here and we find the actual character. So we type LT and you will find this character here. So just click here. And when you change this character here, you also change the blueprint animation so we go to this animation and go to the anim class just go to this drop down here and we search for the animation for this Bellica character so it there is this animation blueprint which is the lt Bellica, and just click on here okay and we just compile here and then we close this and now if we go to this play button here and you will find that this character is as used as a third person character so if you move the awsd key you will see that it's running okay so this is how we can use any custom character uh, as a third person character and now if you run you can run anywhere you want and you can see that our dune looks very very amazing okay so we go back to our main mode here and now we are going to put some assets to make a nice temple like structure here. So for this I am going to use a free content from the epic game marketplace. So first we go to this epic game content again. Then we go to the marketplace. Then we go to the free and go to the epic games content. And then go to the page number 3 
and you will find this value of ancient and this pack is quite large and you can see that you have to create a project by using this so just click on this create project then you have to select the path where you want to download this project and this project is compatible with the version 5.1 and just click on this create button here but this is a very large content more than a hundred gigabyte so don't worry we don't have to open this project we just have to download this and we can move our required content from this project so just click on this create button here and it will start download so once your download completed you will find this folder that is a value of ancient so if you open this you will find the project file but we don't know i have to open this project we just go to this content folder here and we go to this ancient content and you will see that this content is 54.3 gb in size so we just right click and just copy this and then we go to our actual project content here is the content so this is our project and we this is the content folder we go to here and then we just paste it here so i have already pasted this ancient content here so this is how you can get this ancient content without opening the value of ancient project which is quite large so just close it from here and when you move the or copy the ancient content you will find this uh, ancient content folder to your content and under this you will get all the required content here so first we go to this geometry folder and then we go to this mass folder here and you will find all this structure here so first we go to select a nice area for our temple so maybe we go to this down area here and then we select the sun position as well so maybe here okay and then we are going to put some assets over here and there so first we are going to put some distant mountains so for the distant mountain we are going to use those this one so we just click and drag and drop here and you can see that this is very big in size so just put it at the very back side here just like this and maybe we press r to bring the scale switch and we increase the scale and then we put it here so this look nice and also we're going to duplicate it here and also we rotate this so we press this key to rotate just like this and rotate it here okay so you can also put other assets here and there if you want so maybe use this one so just click and drag here and then we put it little back here so you can see that uh, this pack is quite large but believe me that the content uh, you will get from this pack is very amazing and you can make uh, so many things by using those content so i prefer this content if you download this and now we going to put some temple assets here so it also have those so in order to get all the static mesh object into a single place we go to select this ancient content and then we select this uh, filter which is called the static mesh filter so just click on here and you will get all this character here so now we're going to create uh, the actual temple so let's see what we have here so if we go here so if we go here so we will get uh, this kind of structure so we're going to use this one so first we select this one that is the sm gate b and we put it over here okay so here we can put all these assets to make this temple and maybe we can you push this into something nearer to the camera so maybe here and when we uh, add these assets first we uh, put a character here so we can get the actual size reference so for this go to these characters then we go to these mannequins go to the meshes and we put this character over here maybe here so we go a little closer and we change the camera speed from here so here it is 
and maybe we put our character little closer to this structure here okay just like this and now we going to increase the scale of this so we press r to bring this scale gizmo here and we increase the scale by clicking on this middle box and just drag your mouse and it will increase its scale okay so now we put it little higher here so you can get this actual size reference from here okay just like this and then we are going to duplicate it one more time at the back side and we put it here so the design may be different uh, from my actual project because it is uh, so dynamic that you can uh, use your own creativity here so now we also put other structure here as well and make it little small than this one so we just make a little small here okay and also we duplicate it here as well okay just like this and let's see what other things we have here so we go to this ancient content and select this static mesh again and you will see that we have other things here as well so we select this one put it here and we increase the scale of this just like this and we put it over here and also we duplicate it to this side as well just like this and let's see what else we have here so we have some this kind of bridges so we use this one as well so we select this one increase the scale of this and we rotate this just like this so make a nice design here so it's very experimental so you can use your own creativity so i am using this as the uh this kind of wall over here just like this and also put it over here and then also duplicate this one to this side okay just like this and also duplicate this and put it over here just like this okay so now you will get a nice temple like structure here and you can see that this is very big in size because our character is here and you will see that it's so massive in compared to this character here okay and now we're going to use other assets to make it look more nice so now we are going to use some gateway here so maybe we're using uh, this uh, structure here so maybe put it over here and we scale it up something like this and also we put it over here and then also we duplicate it to this side and also we rotate it to this angle okay just like this and also we put uh, some roof over here so use this one and we increase the scale of this just like this and we put it over here maybe rotate this and we place this over here okay and also duplicate it and place it over here so these things is uh, so dynamic because if you put more time here you will get a nice design so i make my actual video in 11 days so you can imagine that how much work i have done here so i cannot replicate the same design here into this short amount of time so just pardon me for this and you just uh, have all the content here so just use your own creativity and you will really get a nice result to your scene okay so i'm just putting the random uh, content here and there to make it more dynamic in design so just experiment and you will get a nice design to your scene okay so i just make a nice gateway like area here so if i move my character to this side here and you will get that how much uh, massive this uh, this uh, structure here that 
with the comparison to this character okay so just like this and now we going to put other uh, structure over here and there or maybe we can use this one to the roof of this so maybe we delete this and we use this one so it will look more nice so if i go here and we increase the scale of this or maybe we decrease the scale and put it over here and then also we put this over here okay and then we're going to use this structure over here and we increase the scale put it over here and then we rotate this okay just like this and then we put it down and place it here okay and then also we use this same uh, structure here so we just click on here and put this and then we increase the scale little bit not much just put this over here maybe we rotate this to this angle and also we decrease the scale a little bit down so we go to this middle box and decrease the scale which is uniform to every angle okay so now you will get a nice structure here and also we use those pillars over here and then i put it over here and you can get that eventually it creates a nice design here as well so we duplicate it to this side as well and now you will get a nice design here okay so you can also put other assets here and there so maybe we can use this one here and then we increase the scale little bit not much then we put this over here and then also duplicate it to this side just like this and then also we use this structure over here then we rotate this to this angle and then we increase the scale just place it over here okay and also we duplicate it to this side and also we rotate this to this angle okay so i'm not uh, much uh, doing uh, so many things over here because it will take little time but i will leave it up to you that how you can design because you have all these uh, nice assets here so you can use anything you want so maybe we can use this one here and you can see that those uh, designs are so amazing and it can really creates a nice touch to your scene so maybe we can rotate this to this angle okay and also we put it over here and then also use this one we at the top of this so we increase the scale then we rotate this and we just put it on the top of this okay just like this and when you make something uh, like this with different objects you can select all of the objects here and then you right click and you will find this option that is a group option if you click this now those things are in a sing single group so if you duplicate this by pressing alt and hold the alt key and just duplicate this you will duplicate all these uh, objects all together okay so it will help uh, to make a nice design here and also you can see if you see it at the top you will get a nice design here okay so now we're going to put a wall at the front of this so in order to do the wall we have uh, some walls here so these things will uh, make the design so if we put this over here just like this and we increase the scale just like this and we then duplicate it 
at multiple times so we'll get a nice design so maybe we can duplicate it to fill the gaps here and also we duplicate it here and then again we duplicate both of this and we select both of this and we duplicate both of this together here and again we duplicate it here and also we make a small space at the middle of this and then again we duplicate it here and then we put those pillars so we select these pillars here and then we increase the scale of this just like this and we put this pillar over here and do the same here as well and we rotate this to this angle okay just like this so maybe this will be a nice gateway to this temple here just like this and then also we put other assets here to make it more nice so increase the scale then we put this over here so you will get nice uh, structure here as well so it can make that it is uh, very ancient in its age so just put something over here and there and also we put uh, some and we put this one at the top of the pillars or these walls here so maybe i put this over here and then we increase the scale of this and then we rotate this and we put it over here also we rotate it into and if you don't want this snapping you just disable the snapping from here so now you can rotate it smoothly and then we put this over here and also duplicate this and it will make a nice uh, uh, walls here so you can get a nice design by using those and then we select all of this from here and we duplicate it into this side as well so just like this okay and also we do one thing that we go here put those over here maybe we rotate this to this angle and then we increase the scale and we put this over here or maybe we decrease the scale a little bit down and put this over here and also do the same here and then we rotate this to this angle so just like this okay so this is how you can create a nice design but you can see that this is not my actual design that i made for my video so it is very uh, impossible that you always get the same design because there is no pattern so it is different every time if you make this uh, but i show you the idea that how i achieve those and you can make your own creativity to make your own design here so now we also get some this kind of cloth simulations here as well so if you put uh, some cloths over here and there so maybe we can put some cloths over here so if you use this cloth over here and you will see this cloth here and if we increase the scale of this and then i put it over here and you can see this cloth here and we if we rotate this we can see this cloth but we want this cloth to be movable so we select this cloth here and we go to this details panel that is the sm flag and we're going to change the material so we go to this material and we click this drop down list and we tie flag here so and you will get this kind of flag materials here so maybe if you use this one you will see that this is not looking nice so we drop down list again and maybe we use this one or maybe 
use this one so this one fit nicely which is mi flag 01 vat2 and we can increase the scale of this and then also we duplicate it one more time and put it over here and maybe we rotate this okay so this is how you can put some flags as well because it also look nice so here we can see our temple here okay and you can see that it look very amazing so now if we play from here so if we right click here and just click on this play from here and you will get this character here so if we turn on playing you will see that we can see our temple here and this look really really amazing okay so you can see that the size is very big and you will get a nice perspective that you have a very large ancient temple over here okay so now is the part to make some decorations to this so we just uh, back from this game mode here so we come back to this ancient content folder and enable the static mesh option and then first we select this model here and just duplicate it one more time and then i press r to bring this scale switch and just make a huge structure here so make it little uh, kind of large temple like here okay and then you can see that this look more amazing and also we duplicate this one to here and maybe we can put it over here and then also we can increase its scale just like this and also then duplicate it here as well okay so now you can see that a little, little bit changes makes a very big difference and it look so amazing and then if we change uh, the lighting position here and you can see that wow it really makes a nice scene here okay just like this okay so maybe we can put the light maybe here just like this okay so and now we're going to duplicate this uh, model again and put it over here and then we decrease the scale of this and then we place it over here okay and also duplicate it one more time and place it over here and do the same here as well so we select both of these and just duplicate it over here okay and then also we go down here and we find some pillars here so let's see so we have uh, some pillars here so you can use this as well so we select it here and then we increase its scale just like this and we put it over here and then also we place it over here and then also we can rotate it to make it little different here maybe we can increase the scale of this little bit and then also we put it over here okay and then we select all the of the three and just duplicate it here okay so this is how you can create uh, this kind of random design and you can see that everything uh, you put it look amazing because those models are really nice and also we can put uh, some stairs over here so maybe we can use this one so we just put it over here and then we rotate it and then also we increase its scale of this and then we duplicate it here okay just like this so 
you can see that it look nice here and maybe we also put uh, something over here so let's see what we have so we have uh, some slabs here so we use this one so so put this over here and then we all can also increase the scale of this and then we place it over here and also we rotate this just like this and then we place this over here as well okay and then also we can rotate this and decrease the scale little bit and maybe we can delete those and we duplicate this one okay so you can see that the design is very random but just put things in a meaningful way so we can get a nice result here okay just like this and then also we have some rocky structures so if we just put those over here and there and then we can also rotate this and make things like here and also we duplicate this and put this over here then also we can rotate this into certain angle and just put this over here so i am fast forwarding this composition to make it little quick so but you can understand that uh, what i am doing here so i think if i do fast forward from this point you can really understand that what i am trying to do okay and what will makes these things more nicer okay so now uh, we do little bit of designing here but uh, i think uh, this is enough for this tutorial and you also get the idea so now we're going to make some blocking area here and there so let's put something over here also so we have something like this so or maybe something like this so just put this here and then we rotate this into this angle and then we put this little down and you can see that uh, at this side it's uh, not have any texture so the light can pass through so we can just duplicate and rotate this into this angle and then we put this over here just like this and also we have some uh, this model so we can also use those here to block this so there are several way you can block things by using other assets here so just use those this is not compulsory that you can do the same that i do here and just like this and also we duplicate and put things over here just like this okay and also we can put uh, some structure over here and here also so let's make something like this and then we can increase the scale and put things over here okay just like this so this all depends on you that how you can design this okay and now we if we just go over here and if we duplicate all of this to this side as well so just select all of this and put this over here and then we can rotate this and make something like this okay so you will get this idea okay so now we going to put some vegetations over here and there so for this we go to the foliage section here and then we have so many foliages here so let me choose something from here so you can see there are so many foliages so maybe we pick those and then we drag it to here and then we going to decrease the density maybe or 
we select all of this and let's see how big it is so first we go over here and then if we put something you can see that this looks something like this so but it's not look right so maybe we can delete those and then we go over here and we first we decrease the density to maybe 50 and then we increase the scale to maybe 2 by 4 here and let's see okay now it look nice so we not uh, putting so many vegetations over here so just put something very less or maybe we can delete this so in order to delete just press and hold the shift key and if you paint it it will delete the unnecessary part okay so just like this okay and also do some foliages over here as well okay just like this and now we are going to put some mega scan assets so for this go to the main mode here and then i go to the mega scan folder here so i have uh, downloaded some assets from the mega scan so if i go to the content folder here and then if i go to the mega scan folder so here it is the mega scan and if i select the static mesh option and you will find i downloaded some date tree here so you can also download those assets from the mega scan and i also gave the assets link in the description down below so you can download those assets from the mega scan as well so if you put those here and there you can also make a nice result to your scene so just make a random design here and then put something over here like this and also put something over here okay and then also we can duplicate something some and just put those things over here so you can see that it really makes a nice touch to our scene and also we can put some over here as well so if we can increase the scale and you can see that wow it look really chaotic and makes a nice result to our scene okay so if we just rotate it to make a little different looking okay so now we have foliage as well and now we're going to put some small rocks over here and there so i have also downloaded some rock model from the mega scan so just select all of this and then we again go to the foliage section here and we drag those here and then we select all of these by pressing ctrl a and then we deselect all of this here from here and then we only select those rocks and select all those rocks here so now let's see how big it is so if we put some rocks here so you can see that it very big in size so we select all of those rocks and then go over here and we maybe uh, decrease the scale to maybe 0.2 to 0.5 here and let's see it's still so big so we're going to decrease the scale a little bit more so maybe 0 0.02 to 0.1 and let's see okay those are nice looking rocks and the density also nice so now we're going to put some rocks here and there so let's make more nice looking so okay so i think uh this is looking so amazing here okay so maybe we can also put some rock over here and there and then also we do one thing that go to our main selection mode and we select this rock here and we can duplicate this and put this over here just like this and we put things over here okay so it can make a nice block here and then also we go to our foliage section 
and we cut some rocks here which is not look right okay just like this so this look amazing and now we going to our main mode and now is the time that we going to add a camera to our scene so we go to this box and go to the cinematics and add a cine camera actor here and then we go to the camera and right click and then we click on this snap object to view here and then we go to this perspective and select our camera here okay and when we put a camera we also going to create a sequence for this scene so we go to this box and we go to this add level sequence click here and then we name this as tutorial sequence and just save it here okay and then we go to this camera here cine camera actor and we drag it to here okay just like this and now we going to go to this current focal length we change this to maybe 15 so we get a nice wide angle lens here and also we select the camera then go to the film back and we change this to 16 is to 9 dslr and now you will get a nice landscape view here okay and you can see that it really look amazing okay and because we not putting any post process volume here so we're going to change the settings from this camera as well so first we go to here that is the lens settings here first we go to the bloom settings we enable this or expand this then we click on this method and we change this to convolution here and go to the intensity maybe we can increase the intensity a little bit not much and then also we go to this exposure and we select this metering mode change this to manual here and then go to this exponential compensation and we change this to maybe 10 here and if you put this 10 you can get a nice exposure here or maybe if we put 12 here you will get overexposed. so we change this to 10 for now and also we go down here so that is a chromatic aberration we not really need this but if you put one here maybe 0.5 here and then also start offset to increase it to we only just want some edges to be chromatic aberrated not the whole scene here and then also use some dart mask so i'm using some uh, dart marks from the video copilot optical flares so if i go here i can use some or maybe if we uncheck this static mesh we get this dart marks as a texture from the video copilot optical flare and if you have the optical flare you can also have this texture there so i use this one as a dart max so first we have to enable this dart max here and then we just select and drop this here and then we go to this dart mask intensity and we increase the intensity here so maybe i change this to 10 so if i go to see the sun you can get the nice lens flare and lens dart here as well just like this okay and also we go down here first we go to the lens flare and we enable this lens flare from here so maybe if i change the sun position here so if i change the sun position and we'll get this nice lens flare here so we can also do some changes to the lens flare so if i go here or maybe we select our camera from here then we go to the lens flare and if we increase the intensity little bit not much and then also we go down here that is the global illumination we change uh, this method and maybe we can use the lumen here and after that we select this indirect light intensity if we turn this on and maybe we change the value to maybe 10 maybe so we will get a nice indirect lighting here as well okay and also we have some settings here so maybe we, if we use this film grain and if we increase the grain amount here we'll get a nice grainy look but maybe we can decrease this amount here okay just like this and also we go to this directional light so if i type here directional light and then we go to the very up here 
and here you will find this kind of option that is the source angle so if you increase it you will get a more big sun here and also we can increase or decrease the light intensity if you want but i think the default value is look nice and also we can see that some of the volumetric scattering so if we increase it you will get a nice volumetric scattering here so if i change the light position here so if i change the light position and you will get a nice volumetric god rays from here okay just like this so now you can see that this look really amazing and also you can put uh, other structure to maybe block here and there so it's all up to you because i show you all the possibilities that what else you can do by using those assets here so i think uh, this look really amazing okay so this look nice so now we're going to put some extra fog sheets here so first you go to the volumetric fog so we select the fog and there is the exponential fog and let's see where it is so here it is so first we put this fog little higher here so just like this okay and also we put some fog sheets here so in my previous tutorial on unreal engine i use a pack called the soul city and which is absolutely free so this is from the epic game content and i also gave this download link in the description so you can also get this soul city pack and if you want to know that how you can add this you definitely check my previous tutorial on that because the previous tutorial is totally based on the soul city so i use the soul city pack and it is very nice and you have so many um, assets from this pack you can use anywhere you want and then we go to this folder that is called the effect mobile options and then also we go to the simple fog sheet here and go to this blueprint here and we put this fog over here and you can see that the color is not looking right but don't worry we can also change the color from here so when we select this fog sheet first you go to this details panel and then go to this color and you maybe change this color to like this environment color here and we hit ok and then we put it over here and also we increase the scale from here then we put it over here and also do one thing that when you select this fog sheet and go to this details panel you will get this option that is the fog start fade distance so if you turn this on you can get really nice fading here and then also we have this depth fade distance so we can also increase this okay maybe we decrease this and then i put this over here so you will get a nice foggy like uh, scene here so maybe we can also we duplicate it again and we put this over here so you can see that this is a flat plane so when you put things here and there just remember that it's a simple sheet so if you always uh, make these things to uh, towards the camera so it can look nice otherwise it will look very flat so we can also duplicate it here maybe and then we just rotate this and put things over here okay just like this so it will make a nice foggy or dust like scene here okay so this look amazing so this is how i built uh, this scene and now we're going to put some characters so we also have some paragon characters so let's see put this character over here so here is the hero character and then go to here and go to the meshes and if we go to here that is this skeletal mesh and we just put it over here just like this maybe we can decrease the camera speed just like this and then if we go to our sequencer and then select this character here and go to this track and add this character over here and then we go to the animation so maybe we can type some walking animation so we type jogging here and you will get some jogging animation so let's see so that is a jog forward and then we can increase the animation length here 
just like this so now if we select this character and we go to this transformation and make a keyframe here and then if we go at the end and we can animate this character over here and also we put little, little down here so let's see just like this and now if we see you can see that this look nice but we have to increase the speed of the character so we go here and then we again animate it in here and let's see maybe we can increase the speed little bit more so we can just make things here okay just like this so let's see okay something like this and it look nice so now if we go to the camera and make a nice camera animation here so maybe if i go to the very close to the character or maybe we go to the camera and make a little bit of zoom here and then we focus on our character here so you can manually focus this or you can make a tracking focus here so we select the camera and then we go down here so that is the focusing mode and we change this to tracking and then we select the tracker and we select this actor to be tracked so everywhere go this camera it always track this character to be in focus okay so now first we go to this camera and make a keyframe here and make sure that the keyframe is a linear here and in order to make a linear default keyframe go to here and select this linear okay and also do one thing that check this auto keyframe here so now if we go at the very end here and then we go over here and then we make a keyframe here because we already check this auto keyframe so it can automatically make a keyframe here so now you can see that it look amazing okay and also if we put some camera shake it will also make a uh, more nice looking so for the camera shake we going to create a blueprint for camera shake so i just go to our content here and then we right click go to the blueprint class and we type here shake and we will get this camera shake base and we just select this okay and we name this as shake 2 because i already have another blueprint for shake so i open the camera shake here and if you find a little different uh, windows here just close it and then again we open the shake and you will get the same panel here so first we go to this root shake pattern we change this to parallel noise camera shake pattern and then go to the timing and change the duration to maybe zero here so before we change something here first we assign this camera shake to our camera so we go to our sequence camera here then go to this track and you will get this camera shake and we also choose this shake that we just created okay and then if we go here and put this camera shake from the beginning and also we make it to the very end here so now if we play it you will get little bit of camera shake but we also make some more camera shake so we make this rotation amplitude multiplier to maybe five so you will get a nice camera shake here as well as if you make it to increase this frequency from here we'll get a more camera shake here so maybe if we make this one also go to this location and we maybe change this to four here and we compile this okay so now we'll get a nice camera shake as well as this animation here so maybe we put some camera from first here here and then if i go here and also we can move our camera to here and then again we can make the camera 
to be here okay so this look really amazing camera movement so you can also get the idea that how you can make this camera angle and also if you smoothen this animation so here that you can see that it is very uh, sharp changes here so if we just select this keyframe and it change this to cubic and now you will get a very smooth camera animation here okay so this is how you can also do these things and you can also experiment with the camera animation so make a more nice camera animation here and maybe we can put these things from this ground so you will get a nice upward camera animation here okay so this is how you can make a nice camera animations over here or if we just go to this tracking and you change this to manual here so maybe first we focus on this character and when it reaches the very end maybe we can put our camera over here and we can also focus on this temple here so maybe from here we can focus on this temple so first we go to this camera manual focus distance make a keyframe here and then go over here and we can change the focus shift to the temple here and also we select both of this keyframe and change this to cubic okay so let's see and first it uh, focus on this character here and the focus shifted shifted to the this temple over here okay so just like this so let's see and you can get this nice camera transition here so maybe we can get a more bokeh effect so if we change this to camera aperture to maybe one or two and when you decrease the camera aperture your camera getting very bright here so we can go to this directional light so we go to the directional light and we can decrease the light intensity so maybe five here just like this and then you can see that it makes a more blur to the scene okay so something like this so this is how you can make a nice camera animations here so sometimes people ask me that how you make those nice camera animation the trick is very simple you just put your camera everywhere and let find that which angle looks nice and you can also get all these settings to make a nice uh, camera focused distance settings and those all things so you can get those nice camera animations okay so this is for one of the scene uh, that i made and now we're going to make uh, some scene that uh, for the indoor scenes so i think you will get the idea for this kind of outdoor scenes here so let's make some indoor scene as well okay so for the new level we going to create another level so we go to this file new level here and we choose again this empty level and just create this and also we save this one here so here it is our empty level and again we are going to create a light settings real quick so we just make it really quick here and again go to this volumetric just close this go to this skylight create this uh, turn on this real time capture then go to the landscape and we just make a simple landscape here just create this one here okay just like this and then we go to our main mode here just here and then we put a character here so go to this character folder here and go to this mannequin meshes and we put a simple skeletal mesh character here we rotate it to maybe here okay and now we decrease the camera speed and now we put some blocking so first we go to this ancient content again go to select this static mesh filter here and let's find a block so where is the block so i just put it over here and then i first increase its scale and also increase the scale from this angle so doesn't matter that the texture is stretched out because it's only for the 
block out so i just put it over here then also increase this length here and do the same here as well so in this side and also i put it over to the roof so i rotate this to this angle or maybe i can increase uh, enable the snapping here so i just snap it to maybe 90 degree here and then i put it over here also increase the scale just like this okay so this is our block out and also i close this one so i just uh, duplicate this here and then i rotate this to 90 degree and then i put this to the very end of this here maybe something like this so one thing we can do that we can also duplicate it here and make this to here and also i duplicate it here so it will make a little corridor like structure here and then also i duplicate the roof and i rotate this to this angle maybe here and also i block out here so i just block out this to 90 degree and i place it to here and also do the same here just like this okay so now if we go here and we will see something like this okay so for the editing time maybe we can make a little gap from the roof here so it can allow some light to become inside just like this okay and maybe here and then also i change this position here as well okay just like this and also i change the light position that is the directional light position so you can see that what i am trying to do here okay just like this and now we're going to put some assets over here so so here are so many pillars like structure so maybe we use this one so i put this over here and also i duplicate this to here maybe and then i select both of them and i put this over here okay and then we delete this one and then we do the same for this side as well okay just like this and now we're going to put another structure so maybe this one and i put this over here and we place it over here and maybe we increase the scale of this to fill the gaps and we put it little deep here okay just like this and do the same here as well so we just duplicate it and place it over here okay do the same okay so now you can get uh, the idea that what i am trying to do here and also do the same for the roof as well so maybe we can use this one so we just put it over here maybe we increase the scale of this and then i rotate this to this angle maybe 180 degree here and then put it over here just like this and also we duplicate it over here okay and then maybe we put other structures so maybe put this one over here just like this and also we duplicate it
and then we put these things over here maybe we increase the scale of this and then we put this over here so maybe we can put some lights to here so maybe we select a point light here and put this light over here and also we can select this light and we change the color to maybe something like bluish color here and also increase the intensity a little bit and also we go down that is the source radius or attenuation radius we can increase the radius to make some lighting over here as well and also we go down and go to this volumetric scattering we can increase the volumetric scattering to make a little bit of foggy like structure here and also we go to this exponential height fog so we if we type fog here go to the exponential height fog and we can also increase the density of the fog just like this okay so this looks something like this and also if we go here and if we change the directional light position we can also create a nice looking god rays over here and now we're going to put some uh, thing to the surfaces here so we have some nice looking surfaces here so maybe we can use this one so just put it over here and then maybe we can increase the scale of this and we put it over here and then we duplicate it and also put it here and there okay and also we go to this structure and we can put it over here and maybe we can increase the scale of this and put it little down and also we duplicate it and just place it here and there and also we can put something here as well so maybe we can put some this kind of structure here so maybe we can put uh, this structure here and you can see that it is very big so i can decrease the scale here and then i rotate this and maybe we put it over here so just put these things here and there something like this and also we do the same here as well so maybe we can put some there as well so let's find something nice looking model here so maybe if we use this one so maybe we put these things over here and then also i can rotate this to this angle and then also i can duplicate okay just like this and now if we block this uh, part also so if we just select this one and duplicate it and rotate it to 90 degree and when we go inside here and you can see something like this and you can get this nice kind of light rays here and now we are going to make a camera so we go to this box and create a cinematic camera here and then we go to the camera and change the viewing to snap object to view here then go to the perspective and go to this camera again we are going to create a sequence so we go to this add level sequence here and name this as tutorial 2 here and we save this then we go to this camera and on or just drag it to here then we go to this camera focal length we change the focal length to maybe 20 here and then also we go to select this camera and then go to this camera details panel here first we go to this exposure here and we change the metering mode to manual then go to this exposure compensation and we change this to maybe 12 here because it's a indoor scene or maybe we change this to maybe 15 something like this and you will get a nice 
camera uh, lighting here so or uh, do one thing that we go to this global illumination and we go to this indirect light intensity just enable this one and maybe change this to 2 or maybe if i change this to 10 you will get more indirect lighting here okay and also we go to this lumen global illumination expand this and you can change the quality but not change it yet when you are ready to render you can change the quality to maybe 10 or 20 because if you change this to 20 now you will get uh, your scene little bit of laggy here so maybe my in my case it's go laggy because i have very less uh, gpu here so i go to this lumen global illumination and reset this value here for now while i am editing this and also we do some changes to here so maybe we can duplicate this one and also we have some mega scan assets here so we go to this content and then we go to this mega scan go to this 3d assets maybe we select this static mesh and we use this one so i put this over here maybe we decrease the scale and also we rotate this put these things over here just like this and also we duplicate it over here maybe we rotate this to this angle and do the same over here and also we rotate this to this angle maybe put things over here and also rotate this okay just like this so it's all depends on you that how you can design uh, but i'm really happy that i take the time to explain all of this so maybe you can get all the idea so now if we go here so first we go to this exponential height fog and we increase the fog density to maybe 10 here so we will get more foggy area here just like this so maybe 10 is little bit much so we change this to 5 or maybe 2 will look nice okay just like this and you can see that you will get uh, this kind of blocky race here but don't worry when you are ready to render you your render will be nicer so, and you can also do one thing that go to the settings and engine scalability to change this to cinematic and you will get uh, more nice result here but at the same time your render will be very laggy so we change this to epic while we are editing this so this look amazing or maybe we can change the lighting position little bit here and also we can make a little bit more space over here so we go here and maybe we can change it to here okay just like this so this looks something like this okay so you can design it but you will get the idea that how i make uh, those scenes here and here is very dark so maybe we can put some light over here as well so we go to this light put a point light here and then we decrease the intensity to maybe two here and also we change the color to maybe something bluish like color here and also we decrease the intensity to maybe 1 or maybe 0.5 so make a very less amount of light here and then i put this light over here maybe and also we go to the light and increase this attenuation radius just like this okay and also we put or maybe our fog is very dense so we go to this fog and maybe we change this to one and now we can also put some light over here as well so we again go to this box go to the light create a point light here change the intensity to maybe one and the color we use here which is little bit of this kind of orange like color here and also we decrease the attenuation radius radius to maybe something like this 
and then we put this light over here okay just like this so now you will get the idea that how i built this scene and again go to the sequencer maybe we increase the aperture here to maybe make this area a little darker here and also you can duplicate this and put this over here something like this and maybe we can duplicate some of this pillar and also we rotate this and then we put this over here okay so make a nice block here or maybe we can put this over here and just like this so you will get a nice view from this okay so this is how i built uh, the indoor scenes and you can also see that i built one other uh, scene that uh, shows the inside of the temple uh, but the idea is the same just uh, block the areas and put the assets here and there so i think you can get the idea and you can also build the scene here uh, but uh, one thing uh, i have to mention that there i also put a nice statue model there so i also show you that where from i get this and how you can use this statue model here so for this we go to this epic game marketplace here and here you will find this particle effects uh, project so i also gave the link in the description so you will get this uh, project file there and you also have to create a project by using this so just create here and you choose the path where you want to save this project so select the project version which is close to the highest and then you just click on this create button here and after the download you will get this folder that is the particle effects so just double click here go to this content and go to this uh, under this content you will find this folder that is the environment just copy this and paste it to your actual project okay. so here is our project so just go to this project content here and just paste it here so i have already paste that is this environment folder so once you're done go to your project here then we go to this content and then we go to this F environment folder here just double click here then select this filter that is the static mesh and you will get this statue here so i use this statue so i just put this statue over here maybe so at the very end but in my actual case i put this into the inside the temple because it's already a uh, so big tutorial but i think uh, uh, when i make this scene you get the idea that how you can also do that because you also have all the assets uh, and just use those assets and you will make something like this okay so but if you still have some questions you can message me and i will try to answer all of this your doubt so just put this over here maybe we can decrease the scale little bit down put these things over here and also i put some basement here so i put this one here just like this and also i put some block here so maybe we increase the scale of this and then i place it over here and also i duplicate this and i place this over here and do the same here as well okay just like this so and you can see that uh, this statue have uh, this kind of fiery ball here so this project also comes with several particle system so if you go to this actual project folder so here it is so we already copy this environment folder and also we have to copy this fx folder here so if we just copy this from here this is our actual project go to this content and paste it here so when you paste it here you will get also this effect folder here and under this particles you will get so many uh, effects here and here you will find so many effects here so you first you go to this fire and here you can 
get this fiery orb here so we just put these things over here and you will get uh, this nice fire orb effects here so maybe we can put these things over here and also we rotate this to 90 degree here okay just like this and you will get nice particle system here okay so this is very easy and those things are really look amazing and when we have some fires here we also have some lighting so we put a light over here so we use this point light here maybe we put this uh, light here and also put this light over here and then also i decrease the light intensity to maybe one here or maybe 0.5 and then also i change this color to warm color here something like this and also we decrease the attenuation radius to very low here okay so maybe 100 okay so now we'll get very subtle lighting to this character here and also maybe we can duplicate the light here maybe and also increase this attenuation radius to make a nice warm color from this right side and maybe we can change this color to little red or maybe something like this or maybe we use the default color here okay now if we go to the sequencer maybe we can zoom in here little bit and then you can see this character over here and maybe i can increase the decrease this camera aperture here maybe and also i go to select this camera and then i go to this exposure settings here so i go to this exposure settings and change this to maybe 10 here and then i can focus on this character here like this and you can get a nice cinematic shot from this angle as well okay so maybe i can go to this transform and make a keyframe here and then we go to this very end and maybe i put this camera over here and also i change this manual focus distance so maybe we keyframe here and change this manual focus distance and then when we come at the beginning we also adjust this focus here so maybe if we play this or maybe when camera comes here we readjust this camera position maybe and also i change this to cubic interpolation so let's see so you will get this kind of nice camera animation here as well as also we go to this camera track and put this shake here and then i make this shake here and you can get also a camera shake but the shake is little bit too much so you can also change the camera shake and if we go to this this shake blueprint here and again we play this video then i go to this camera rotation maybe we change this to one here and also change this to two or maybe change this to two here and you can get a nice looking camera shake here and compile this so we'll get this kind of nice camera animation here okay so here it is and also if we go over here so here is the character here or maybe we can go to camera and increase this uh, exposure settings to maybe 15 or maybe 12 will be nice okay so here it is and also we increase the camera aperture or maybe decrease the camera aperture so and then maybe 11 is nice okay so this is how you can make this scene and also if we go to this fx folder so maybe see if we have some dust uh particle system so if we put something over here so you will get 
some dust here and also we put something over here as well and then also let's see if we go to this snow here maybe snow will not fit here but if we just put these things you will get uh, this kind of nice particle system here as well so but it's all depends on you that if you want to use those or not so because it will create a little bit of particle system here so maybe it look nice if you use those but you uh, you have uh, those here as well so maybe you can put something over here and there or maybe not because it's not fit in here so this is how you can use those okay so i think you get the idea that how i made this so now let's go back to our actual outdoor scene here and make a nice camera movement and i will show you that how you can make a cinematic shot by using this okay so we go to this content again and then we go to this tutorial map here just double click here and just save these things and maybe we name these as tutorial and just save this okay so here we are and then we go to this tutorial sequence here and also i delete this character from here and i put our camera here so maybe we put our camera over here then we delete this character and now we going to make a nice camera animation here okay so maybe we go from here and then i make a keyframe over here and then go at the very end and i put my camera over here okay just like this so now if i go over here you can see that i intersect the landscape so i put my camera a little higher here and also i make this keyframe to cubic interpolation and then also if i go over here and then i put my camera over here okay just like this and now let's see what we have here so you can get a nice kind of camera animation here and also i change the light position to something here maybe so let's see or maybe we can put our light over here okay so this is how you can make a nice camera animation here or also i have show you that how you can animate the characters and also you have so many settings to make a nice camera animations so i think you can get the idea so once you complete and ready to render your scene you just go to this windows and then go to the cinematics and you will find this movie render queue but if you not find this one here go to this edit go to this plugins and type movie and you will find this movie render queue just enable this one and also enable this one as well and you have to restart your engine here so when you restart your engine just go to this windows go to the cinematics and movie render queue and then you go to this render and choose the correct sequence so in this case this will be our tutorial sequence so here it is just select this one then go to this unsaved config and i use exr format uh, to render so i use this exr format then also i use some anti-aliasing we change this temporal sample count to maybe 32 and click on this overrides and then again go to these settings and then i go to the high resolution and check this box that is the surface scattering and also i go to the settings and everything i put here or maybe we can put this camera and i change this to frame close here and then we go to this output and select the path where you want to save this okay so just select 
and then just hit accept and you just click on this render local and you will have a nice EXR sequence of your entire project and then you can use any compositing software like after effect or premiere pro or anything you want just put those exr sequence and you can make a video file or from this exr sequence so this is it so i hope you really enjoy this long tutorial and it's a, it's a very long tutorial so i hope that you really find this useful and i am very happy that i made this whole tutorial and i go through all the step by step so make sure that you download all these assets that i use for this project and i also gave all the assets link in the description down below and if you like this video i recommend you to check my other videos and if you find those videos useful please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on so this is amit and we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye